Hello everybody, and welcome back to another exciting adventure in the voyage of the USS Enterprise. It's ongoing mission to survive as long as it can. This Captain Worf and his trusty sidekick, the system repair bot. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, I repaired the systems. I have not made a jump um, since last episode. And I've repaired War repaired Worf. Worf has healed himself in the med bay. And we are ready to go. We are going to keep this bucket of bolts together. It was so lucky I had like just enough to buy that repair, uh, this drone control station. Well, I mean, we had to sell off our entire missile system to do it. But hey, at least we're still alive, right? You've arrived near an Inchi construction yard. Most Inchis maintain their bipedal appearance out of habit, but here you see a member or a number of Inchi hives working together to create massive organic machines adept at building ships. Truly a sight to behold. That's it? Alright. I can't even like see it. Distress. We're in distress. <laughs> but let's check it out. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off a distress call. Should we investigate? Search for the ship or avoid the area. Who knows? We could, it could be good, people. I know it's been bad all up to this point, but maybe it could be good. You find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew members on board to exp that I didn't say explore the ship. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye, huh? Huh? It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with a derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do they do? Grab the, um, got the stasis chamber, buddy. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. The pod appears to be functioning, but you see nothing but shards of crystal inside? Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. Scrap 17 and a damaged stasis pod. Oh, I thought there'd be someone inside. Let's look at our equipment. Damaged stasis... The bizarre alien artifact appears to be barely operational. It has no practical function, but perhaps someone can repair it. Huh. Okay. Well... Maybe later we'll find out what that does in a later episode. Let's jump and go here. A pawnbroker has set up his shop at this obscure beacon. He might offer something worth looking at. Fuel minus one for... For four missiles? Well, I don't even have a missile system, so no. Let's jump. I kind of had to pawn it off to save my ship, you know? Even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of nano machines, wow, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. Okay. Store? Let's uh, explore a little bit more before we go to the store. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Accept the bribe, which is two missiles, drone parts, and 16 scrap. Try to be a hero. I mean, if, well, we only have a burst laser system, though. But we have a lot of shields. We have a drone repair bot. Ah, oh, he has a lot of haul. But we're the USS Enterprise! With a Z! Try to be a hero. Alright. This may destroy us, but we can't let innocence, um, innocence die. Alright, uh, who do, where's our weapon? There we go. Oh, we missed! <gasps> our shields are, what, locked? The f with the truck? Burst laser, come on! Resist? What the heck is this resist stuff? I never fought a rock ship before. Maybe this may be a bad idea. Oh, this may have been a bad idea. Oh, 
Oh my god, the weapons are fully operational. Um, Alright, let's go for the shields. Okay. At least our shields are doing really well, I think. Alright, go for the shield system again. There it is. It's still actually up, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're still in this fight, people. Man, just... Stop! <laughs> why, are, why are you gonna be destroyed? I, I need your shields to be down so I can kill you easier. You proved a sufficient match for the pirates. They are powering up the FTL drive. Oh man, no, 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 no. Um... Oh man, we're not gonna be able to stop them, are we? Come on! There it is, their engines are down. Oh, we got this, people. We got this. One more good shot and they are down. Our previous offer was not generous enough, let's approve it. Accept a more generous bribe. Nope. Yeah! The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 34, heck yeah. All right, thank the heavens you showed up. We don't have much to offer as a reward, bar, but our engineers should be proficient enough to patch a ship up a bit after that nasty fight. Oh, awesome, he, or, he or she repaired our ship. Look at that, full haul. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. All right, let's 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 jump. Let's go to the store. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for e engine upgrade. Um, oh man, I can't afford any of that. Required power to charge time 16 seconds. Charge time 4 seconds. 20 seconds. Ooh. Alright, beam damage is reduced by 1 for every shield it passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. No shot? Or no damage per shot, just ion damage? Um, the thing is, to get any of these systems, I'd have to sell off my burst laser, which I don't think I really want to do. So... I have seven drone parts, I don't need that. Let's buy some fuel. Get back up to 20. And let's upgrade. Do we need to upgrade anything? I mean, clearly, I, I guess we do. Hmm. I don't know. Powers all this. No, we don't need that. We don't need more weapon system power. Upgrades to blast swords that impede fire spread and intruder movement. Hmm. That's cool. That could be useful, but um, I want more power right now. So I'll do one of those and let's jump out of here. Oh crap, they're coming closer. Let's just go to the exit. Gosh, I need more crew members. Alright, you arrived at the beacon. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. Um, well, we have already been repaired. Thank you. Automated message. Let's get out of here. And it looks like we have to go to hostel. Oh, gosh. All right. Our first actual hostel system. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Great. Worf loves to fight, so I am okay with this. No, I'm not. Uh, let's go up here because it looks like the path will be that way. But we don't really want to go to a store because I don't have any scrap. Enough scrap to buy anything useful. So let's. Oh my God. You arrive in an asteroid field and immediately begin evasive maneuvers when a loud clunk reverberates through the ship. At first, you think the hull has been hit. But the noise came from some rock intruders teleporting aboard the ship. Oh my god. Oh my. We're dead. 
Oh, they're taking out our weapons too? All right, we need you to heal. Oh my gosh, I think this is it. Oh, and our system repair bot. <laughs> yep. I think this is gonna be it. All right, we have no more weapon systems. Oh! Uh, all crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity or until looters destroy it. Oh my gosh, that was nasty. What is one Klingdon supposed to do against that, you know? Ugh. Okay, well, I guess that was the... Um, series finale of the USS Enterprise and their brave crew, Picardo who succumbed to disease, Manon who succumbed to disease, Raker who was killed on the bridge, and Worf who was killed by rock intruders. It was a fun run while it lasted, and maybe the next time we won't lose our entire crew before we get to uh, rock controlled space. So thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you on the next adventure of FTL.